Ever wondered what it'd be like to live in a tiny home? Let's find out. Hey everyone, welcome to RV Buyer's Guide. My name is Drew and today we're going to be looking at what it looks like to live inside of a 26 foot tiny home. Let's take a look. The tiny home is labeled as the West Coast and is manufactured by a local company, Staten Rock, who also build and design custom residential homes. The home sits on a 26 foot frame and features a 2x6 floor joist and roof rafter system as well as 2x4 framed walls. Keeping warm in the winter and cool in the summer won't be an issue, as the home's insulation consists of R12 spray foam in the walls and R24 spray foam in the ceiling and floor, which I was lucky enough to capture on my phone during a walkthrough of the build process seen here. The exterior of the home is encased in a metal Duraclad roof and siding, giving it maximum durability in any climate. Let's take a look at what the inside has to offer. Immediately upon entry, you'll be met with the home's stand-up stainless steel fridge and freezer. Above the freezer, you'll find the 65-liter capacity hot water tank. Continuing to our left, we'll find an overhead fan with surrounding cabinetry, and beneath it, a residential oven and stovetop. Next, we'll have a double stainless steel sink with surrounding countertop space and a large kitchen window bringing in tons of natural light. Below the countertop is plenty of additional storage with each cabinet having soft closed hinges. Moving to the back of the home, you'll find the main living area with a floor space measuring at 7.5 feet by 7 foot 3. For reference, I'm 6'4 and still had a couple inches of headroom. On each wall, you'll have dual pane windows bringing in plenty of natural light to the space. Across from the kitchen, you'll find more storage space located underneath the stairs leading to the first loft. The storage is a mix between cabinets and cubby holes, which I think is a great use of space. Next up, we have the first loft. The loft space measures at 7 foot 4 by 7 foot 6 and has enough room for a king size mattress. The second loft is directly across from the first. It's accessible by ladder and measures 6 foot 1 by 7 foot 6 and can comfortably fit a queen size bed. Back downstairs at the front of the home, we arrive at the bathroom. Walking in to your immediate left, you'll have the space and hookups for a stackable washer and dryer. Moving forward, you'll find a large 36 by 36 walk-in shower. And against the opposite wall, you'll have a residential toilet, vanity, and surrounding storage cabinets. Thanks for watching this short walkthrough on the West Coast Tiny Home. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming walkthroughs like this one.